Hello there, it's Sita, your teacher and coach for communication skills in English. Today I will be talking about the importance of having a good pitch in English. So first of all, what is a pitch and why is it so important for us? A pitch is a short introduction of who and what you are and what you are looking for. Of course, there are many kinds of pitches, yes? A pitch means to catch somebody. It actually comes from the world of baseball. You have a pitcher, somebody who catches the ball. So, for example, you're stuck in an elevator and you have only 30 seconds to introduce yourself, your project, your idea, your book to a potential buyer, customer or a person you would like to work for or work with. So why is it so important for us as non-native English speakers to have a good pitch? First of all, exactly as I said, because we are non-native English speakers, so we have more of a difficulty to kind of like pull something out of thin air and be ready when the opportunity comes. So, for example, you would like to introduce yourself to somebody who's important for you. You would like to work with them. A lot of times we start by saying, hi, my name is this and this. And then you say your job title. It's boring. A pitch is supposed to be something to catch the other person's attention. It should be like quality perfume, yeah? Something that lingers in the air, wow! That's a person I would like to follow up with. I would like to have another meeting with that person. He sounds interesting, or that project sounds interesting, yes? So, I give you my pitch, for example. Hi, my name is Sita. I empower people through improving their skills in English. So, I didn't say a word about teaching English, I didn't say a word about coaching English, I didn't say anything about the experience I have, I said I empower you by doing something, yes? What value am I giving you? So when you're preparing really this short pitch of yours, these few sentences of who and what you are, think about the value that you're giving to the other person, what possible benefit they could have from meeting with you. Because when I meet you, I tell you, I will empower you by improving your English skills. You're like, okay, what does she mean by empowering? Yes, it resonates with me. She's right. I will feel a lot more powerful when I have better English, when I speak more fluently, when I have richer vocabulary. So think about the value that meeting you can bring this person that you're interested in, yes? So this is your short pitch now. Write it down, fool around with it, forget the job title, think about the value that you're giving. As a non-native English speaker, you want to be ready. So, after you write it, after you finished it and polished it and went over it, practice it. Practice saying it out loud and learn it by heart. Absolutely learn it by heart. It's like your business card before you have the time to pull it out of your pocket. Okay, this is the first type of pitch, which is our personal pitch. Now we have a few other kinds, like a sales pitch. You need to pitch your startup if you want to sell, but that is more like a presentation. What we are focusing on today is your personal pitch as a non-native speaker to give you the ability to introduce yourself effectively with a twist, yes? Think about the perfume I mentioned. You want to, oh, stay in that person's mind, okay? If you're new to my channel, you are welcome to subscribe. You know how to do that. You are welcome to check out my personal one-on-one -on -one training, my courses, and all kind of interactions that we can have besides and beyond this channel.
this YouTube channel that we are sharing together. So good luck! Be persistent with that pitch of yours. You are welcome to write underneath what pitch you came up with. Yeah, put it in the comments. We will go over it and together we can brainstorm what would be the best way to get it going. Have a good one. See you next time.